In today's video, I'm gonna show you the quickest and easiest way to install the Google Play Store inside Windows 11. So let's take a look. So here we are at the Windows 11 desktop. And what we wanna do is enable the virtual machine platform in Windows 11. And you can do that by clicking on the start button and then typing in Windows features. And this will show up in the list. We're just gonna click on that and it's gonna give us a list. So inside this list, we wanna look for virtual machine platform. By default, it's not checked. So you're gonna to wanna to check that. And then when you click on okay, it's gonna apply the changes and then it's gonna ask you to restart your computer. So I've just done that and my computer is restarted and we can move on to the next step. So as you know, I find a lot of things on GitHub and this is another one that's popular. I've seen this being linked out a lot. So I decided to make a video on it. Uh, makes the process a lot easier. So what this Magisk is gonna do is it's going to install the Windows subsystem for Android as well as the Google Play Store so you can sell apps. So it's gonna do two in one. Now, one quick reminder is if you already have the Windows subsystem for Android installed, you need to uninstall it before you install this. And the reason for that is because it's gonna install as a package on your computer. Here is the URL up at the top. I'll make sure I link it in the description below. The first step that we wanna do is click on the fork option. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring us to a new window. Quick side note, you don't have to fork this yourself. I'm also gonna put a link in the description below to my fork of it, and you can just download directly that file. You don't have to go through this full process because this will take about 10 or 15 minutes. So you can skip to the next step or watch this process all the way through. So it'll take a moment to refresh the page, and when it's done, we wanna click on Actions right over here. So we'll get prompted here about workflows aren't being run right now, and what we wanna do is select the I understand my workflows, go ahead and enable them. And now what we're gonna do is click on Build WSA. So at the next window, we have an option to run a workflow. And there's a few things that we wanna do before we actually start running it. So you're gonna click on the option right here that's pointing down. And then you get to pick the type of variant that you're gonna be using for Google Apps. Now you can have a very minimal one, like a mini one or a micro one, or you can have the full installation. So this will matter if you wanna have many apps like Google Play, YouTube, and everything else installed, or if you want a very simplified, just the stock Google Play Store installed. I'll link in the description below what all these individual ones actually mean, so you can pick out which ones you actually do want on your computer. For the purpose of this installation, I'm gonna be doing full, so I'll be typing in full here. Below, you can have the option to have a root or not. Uh, I'm gonna leave it as default, and once you have that completed, you can click on Run Workflow. So you have to give it some time. It's gonna start building in the back end, so you might wanna just give it a few minutes to run and then when you come back it will be completed and you can download it so we'll just skip to the end of this building process so it took 13 minutes for it to run almost 14 minutes uh, now that it's done we can go ahead and click on it and inside here you'll see that two jobs were completed and I'm gonna scroll a bit here and we have two options. We have the ARM 64-bit version and then we have the x86. Most users, if you don't have an ARM processor, most users are gonna want the x64 version. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and download it. And you can see the size of each file is labeled right over here. So it's a little over three gigs. And what I'll do is I'll jump to the end when the download is complete. So the download is complete. And one thing I wanna note is I'm also gonna put a link to this URL in the description below. So you actually don't have to go through the process of creating it. You just click on the link and you can automatically just download these either file that helps you. Uh, so you can go ahead and then you can download it and it is complete right now. And what I'm gonna do is go into my downloads folder and here it is. And I'm just gonna right click on it and extract all. And then click on extract. And it should make a new folder with all the contents in it and done okay there we go so i'm going to minimize all these folders so we can see the contents of what we have here in this folder we're going to be looking for the install for the powershell file here and that is this one right over here we just have to right click on it and we're going to say run with powershell we'll click on open and then say yes to the prompt and a powershell window is going to run it's going to install in the background and we'll just let it run for a few seconds here. You can see it's installing the Windows subsystem for Android. Allow access, so click on allow access. It just needs to get through the firewall. Okay, so the subsystem is now installed and now it's gonna perform the rest of the installation. You can see it's just wrapping it up right now. So you can see it requires an additional step right now, which means it needs to reboot. We have a bunch of features being enabled right now, which is very promising. So we can click on okay and it should reboot this. Okay, and yep, it automatically rebooted. I didn't have to click on that. We click on start. We can see everything has been loaded in here already. Um, 
The subsystem is in here as well. It wasn't the most recent one. So if I type in Windows subsystem, you can see it right here. So it's been installed. And the most important thing, and the reason why we made this video is for the Google Play Store. So just type in Play Store and here it is. So I'll click on that and it's gonna load up and here we go. So we have the Google Play Store installed on Windows 11 using the Windows subsystem and the script from GitHub. So I'm gonna click on sign in right now and it's gonna ask me for my account name. So I can go ahead and put that in here and then my password. Click on next and then we get an agreement here. So I'll just click on I agree. And it's gonna load up the Google Play Store. We, so we've just installed the Google Play Store on a Windows 11 PC. We're inside, we can go ahead and install apps now. Uh, you can browse movies, games, books, and everything else you'd normally do in your Android environment. And you can continue on from here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want other tips and tricks for Windows 11, please subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more videos coming out. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.